Hi, I'm Mark Barsamian. In this video, I'll introduce the idea of the total degree of a graph and discuss a theorem called the Handshake Theorem. This material is from Chapter 4, pages 235 to 241, uh, a bunch of examples, numbers 1 through 8. This collection of homework exercises from Section 4.9. The topics will be the total degree of a graph, the Handshake Theorem, simple graphs, and then determining whether certain simple graphs exist. Recall the definition of graph from section 1.4. That was discussed in the previous video uh, when we were discussing section 10.1. And recall the definition of the degree of a vertex from section 1.4. The degree of a vertex v is denoted deg parentheses v and it equals the number of edges that are incident on v with an edge that is a loop counted twice. Section 4.9 begins with the definition of total degree of a graph and a theorem about it. The total degree of a graph is just what it sounds like. It's the sum of the degrees of all the vertices on the graph. And the theorem about the total degree is this. It's called the handshake theorem. It says if g is any graph with vertices labeled v1 through vn, then the total degree, which will be this quantity, and there's a typo here, this should say vertex v2, the theorem says this total degree will be twice the number of edges in the graph. And so an immediate corollary of that is this. The total degree of a graph is even. And then uh, also really uh, uh, at the level of a corollary uh, as well is this proposition. In any graph, there is an even number of vertices of odd degree. So for example, here's a graph. Uh, find the degree of each vertex. I'm going to label the degrees in red. So I've labeled the degrees in red. Now I can write the expressions for those. There are the equations using the, the symbol, the degree symbol. Question B is to find the total degree of the graph. The result is the total degree is 12. Question C is to check that the number of edges equals half of the total degree. Well, we can label our edges. I'm going to label them in green. We see that there are six edges. So sure enough, the number of edges is equal to half of the total degree. Example two, can a graph with vertices of degrees 0, 3, 4, 5, 7 exist? If not, explain why not. If so, find the total degree, find the number of edges, and draw an example. Well, we can quickly see that the answer is no. That graph would have to have three vertices of odd degree. There's a proposition that says, in any graph, there has to be an even number of vertices of odd degree. Question B. Same question, but with vertices of degrees 1, 2, 3, 3, and 5. Well, it is possible to have a graph with vertices of those degrees. The simplest thing will just be to draw one, and that's what we're supposed to do. So here's an example. Here's one example of a graph with degrees of those vertices. I've labeled the vertices v1 through v5, and I've put their degrees next to them in red. But that's not the only example of a graph with degrees of those vertices. Here's another one. So there's a second example. 
That's the end of that example. Let's go on. Now the definition of a simple graph. A simple graph is a graph that does not have any loops or parallel edges. In a simple graph, an edge with endpoints v and w is denoted bracket v comma w. Example 3. Can a simple graph with four vertices of degrees 0, 2, 2, 4 exist? If not, explain. If so, draw an example. Well, let's start by just putting four vertices on a page. Let's consider how many edges could touch each of these vertices. We cannot have any loops, and we cannot have any parallel edges. So the greatest number of edges that any one of these vertices can have is three, because those would be the edges that would connect a, a particular vertex to the three remaining vertices. So we see that the, the max degree of any vertex in a simple graph with four vertices would be three. So again, the max degree possible for a vertex in a simple graph with four vertices would be the number three. Question B, can a simple graph with six edges and with all vertices of degree 3 exist? Well, it can. I'm just going to go ahead and draw an example. There's the graph. Let's label the edges. And let's label the degrees of the vertices. And let's label the vertices. So we see there are four vertices, each with degree 3. Example 4. At a party attended by a group of people, two people knew one other person before the party. Five people knew two other people before the party. The rest of the people knew three other people before the party. And a total of 15 pairs of people attending knew each other before the party. So the question is, how many people attending the party knew three other people before the party? Well, the trick here is to turn this question posed in words into a question about graphs. So let's do this. Let's let vertices correspond to people. And let's let edges connect people who knew each other before the party. Well, uh, 15 pairs of people knew each other, so that means that there are 15 edges. And so therefore, by the handshake theorem, the total degree of the graph is 30. Also, we can translate other sentences into information about the graph. The fact that two people knew one other person before the party tells us there are two vertices that have degree 1. The fact that five people knew two other people before the party tells us that there are five vertices of degree 2. And then the fact that the rest of the people knew three other people before the party tells us that the degree of the remaining vertices is 3. So let's let x be the number of vertices that have degree 3. Well, we have enough information now to set up an equation involving the total degree. Remember, the total degree is 30. But that comes from these, de these degrees of these various vertices. There's the answer. x has to be 6, so that is 6 people knew 3 other people before the party. Let's go on. Question b. How many people attended the party? Well, let's just count the number of vertices. We have 2 vertices of degree 1, 5 vertices of degree 2, and 6 vertices of degree 3. So the total number of people is the same as the total number of vertices, which is 2 plus 5 plus 6.
Let's go on. Question C. Draw three examples of graphs that fit the description. Well, I'll just dive right in and draw one. There is one example of a graph. I've drawn the, the graph with color-coded vertices. The green vertices are the two vertices that have degree 1. The five red vertices are the vertices that have degree 2. And the six blue vertices are the ones that have degree 3. Now I'm supposed to draw three examples of uh, graphs that fit that description. So here's another one. So there are three graphs. You can see that in each graph there are two green vertices that each have degree 1, there are five red vertices that each have degree 2, and there are six blue vertices that each have degree 3. So it's, it's very cool to experiment with this and realize that a, a, a prescription of the number of vertices with degrees is not enough information to tell you exactly how the graph has to look. It can be enough information to tell you that a graph can't exist at all, but in general it won't be enough information to tell you how the graph has to look. Let's go on. Example 5. Assume friendship is a symmetric relationship. If x is a friend of y, then y is a friend of x. Question A is, in a group of five people, is it possible for each person to have exactly three friends? Well, this is like the previous problem in that we should turn it into a graph theory problem. So let's let people be vertices. And then let's let edges connect vertices corresponding to people that are friends. So the number of edges that touch a given vertex is equal to the number of friends that that person has. So that is the degree of the vertex equals the number of friends of that person. So the question then is, can the vertices have these degrees? So you see that we've turned our original question into a question about a graph. Can a graph have vertices with degrees 3, 3, 3, 3, 3? Well, clearly the answer is no, because of that proposition. Proposition says that in any graph, there has to be an even number of vertices of odd degree. So the answer to question A is, it's impossible. Question B is, in a group of six people, is it possible for each person to have exactly three friends? Well, it is. I'm going to draw a picture. There's a picture of a graph with six vertices, each of degree three. So we see that it is possible. That's the end of that example, and that's the end of the video. Thank you.